What's up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thanks for checking out this video. Today is Monday and I am at work late, but I am happy to be here because I am working on setting up our office's game room. I really wanted to share with you guys in the process, so I'm gonna be unboxing a whole bunch of stuff, consoles, AV stuff, and letting you guys know how everything's gonna to go together. Eventually, if you guys stay tuned, I'm gonna have some some more unboxing stuff, some setup videos in terms of setting everything up, and then finally a setup video where I show you everything that we've done in the final product. So sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy the video. So starting off first, we knew that we were gonna have a lot of consoles in here. People are gonna wanna hook up um, extra stuff and just wanted to maximize connectivity and that had to have a whole bunch of stuff running up to the TV because that's sloppy and doesn't look good. So the first thing we picked up from Monoprice is a eight uh, port HDMI uh, switch. That way we can have a whole bunch of consoles that utilize HDMI. You already seen we have a PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, which now uses an HDMI, which I think, I don't know why that makes me laugh. But we've also got a PS3, which utilized uh, PS3 and Xbox 360, which utilize HDMI. And then we've got some older consoles uh, and we've got some uh, other things to make those older consoles work with this as well. So getting into it, this is from Monoprice, if you guys are familiar with them. I started to know uh, of them because of the um, cables that they make. But uh, since then I've come to find that they make some pretty nice stuff in terms of electronics, like microphones, uh, monitors. You've probably seen a few monitor reviews from them. I know their 4K monitors have been on uh, mass drop and stuff like that. So um, I was looking for a switch and reading reviews and I heard pretty good things about this guy. Hopefully I'm not wrong. The idea, like I said, is to have all the inputs coming to this and then have one HDMI out going up to the TV. So in the box, we have the main unit. Um, you see that if it's selected, then that will be on. And if it's on, then um, the top LED will be on. Uh, this looks like an IR sensor, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a remote in here later. Taking a look at the bottom, we got some rubber feet. Um, QC pass, I guess that's good. Quality control, quality. Uh, it's got like a hard um, metallic shell, kind of like uh, older KVM switches and stuff like that. Nothing on the sides, it's actually got some um, kind of like rack mount holes, so I'm guessing you can slide this into some kind of a, uh, AV system. Um, flipping it around to the back, let's see, we've got DC 12 volt in, so there's a power adapter in there obviously, and then we've got eight different inputs and one different output. And then this is the RS-323, which is a serial port, I believe, kind of you know, taking me back to my computer engineering days, trying to figure out what bot to use. Uh, let's look at the rest of the stuff that comes with it. I'm guessing this will be a remote and I have guessed right. We will see if the battery is included in this or not. I hope it is because it's just poopy when they aren't because they always use like weird wash batteries and stuff like that. So let's see. Nope, no battery. That's, come on, mono, mono price. Hopefully there's a battery in here somewhere. You guys just didn't put it in there, but Jamal, mono price. Uh, remote is just like that little thin membrane, pressed down, copy machine, cheapo uh, style things, which is, you know, fine. We don't really need a nice one. So, gotta find a battery, gotta figure out what battery that uses, but it's your mind with mono price. A um, couple L brackets, I'm guessing for mounting it in some kind of AV rack or similar, maybe under your desk, barnacle style, if you want to jerry rig it. Then this is the RS-232 serial. Um, hooked up and I'm not sure what this is for. I didn't read anything about this in the reviews I read. So, learning experience. You guys are learning with me. Live unboxings, we're doing it live. Uh, control software. So yeah, it looks like you can just hook up some software on your computer and utilize that. Um, really, why did you use RS-232 serial? It's like, that's I studied in like embedded software class. We got wireless, son. Give it the times. Model price killing me. Killing me smalls. And then finally, AC adapter with adapters. So whether you are in North America, Europe, or Asia, or South America, hopefully you will have the right connector. This looks like the guy I need. 
I kind of don't like these because they tend to be kind of jinky. That's the word I use. Some of them I've gotten they're just absolute butts and don't work. So we'll see how well this one works. Looks like it's maybe three meters or 10 feet. I'm just guessing. Next up, we have a eight port audio video switch and this will help us out with um, some of our legacy old um, console stuff. My idea is to have only one station for legacy consoles. Really half the games that are on legacy consoles you can play on a newer console or on the PC via emulator. But sometimes you want to you know, have that nostalgic feeling of blowing on the cartridge and going ahead and you know just playing it like you did when you were a kid. So um, I really only want to have one input but if you want to have all the retro consoles hooked up, maybe, you know, next to their older, younger brother, um, rather, um, then we can do that. But most of those, you know, can use some form of RCA or um, component. And this is just a 8-port video audio switch. Um, why video audio, not audio video? That kind of bothers me. And it can output up to... Uh, 1024 by 786 at 85 hertz. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Very minimal packaging. Um, audio video switcher. Just got some information. You're gonna have to read it. But it's got, look, look, look at that. It's got actual like buttons. It looks like a child's toy. I feel like this is one of those things the Fine Brothers would do, like, teens, investigate, check! And they look at this shit and don't know what the fuck it is. But, um, got a metal, uh, a housing, and hopefully it's grounded well. But on the front, you just got these, like, punch buttons, I guess is the only thing I can think of to call them. Um, rubberized feet, well, they're not really rubberized, they're actually foam, but hopefully we won't have to worry about it sliding, because it's going to be tucked away. And then on the back, you have all of your... IO. So um, if you're not familiar, yellow is video um, and then the red and white are uh, for audio. So uh, left being white and R being red. R, red um, is an easy way to remember. So looks like we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have an output. So this will end up going into the next piece I'm going to show you, but hopefully this works out well and all the connections and stuff we're gonna do worked out well. We started planning this out and tried to pick up everything we need, but this is the um, last piece or kind of second to last piece of the puzzle. It is a um, HD video converter. So it goes from RCA into um, HDMI and upscales to 1080p so we don't have any weird bars on our uh, TV while we're using it. So. Opening it up, as soon as I show it to you guys, you're gonna see what it does. And I looked at Amazon and looked at reviews again, and this seemed to be a pretty popular one. Um, very simple packaging, has some instructions. Should be pretty straightforward and won't need that, but basically this takes an RCA, so we will have one RCA coming out of this guy, going into this guy, and then this will output a HDMI, which will go into our eight port mono price HDMI switcher in. Hopefully everything will work out well. Let me know if you guys um, have done anything similar to this in order to get your retro consoles hooked up to your HD TVs. But yeah, um, it has a switch on the side for 720p or 1080p. USB power, that's a mini USB cable. Actually fairly short, so that's a little limiting, but shouldn't be a problem. Very simple and straightforward, so hopefully this won't be a problem. Make sure you're still recording because I don't trust you. You are not, damn it. Why do you suck, 7D? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down and let me know whether you wanna see more videos like this in the future. If that's not enough to let me know how you feel, if you got some more feedback, go ahead, drop down there in the comments. Let me know about the quality of the video, what you thought of the content and all that stuff. I really love talking to you guys down in the comments and also on the social medias. Speaking of social medias, if you want more frequent updates on all my videos, um, the tech I'm working on, the projects I'm working on, go ahead and follow me on your favorite social media. I'm on the Facebooks, I'm on the Twitters, I'm on the Pluses, the Google Pluses, I'm on the uh, Instagrams, uh, I can get on the Snapchat if that's what you kids are doing these days. Don't send none of them crazy pics because 
don't want don't want to go to jail for any of that stuff but uh if you really like the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future and if you share the video i really appreciate it as that helps the channel grow and i can do more cooler stuff like whole rooms full of all the gaming sh that you can imagine really psyched about this um trying to think what else oh i also have my amazon affiliate link in the description if you guys use that when you're buying anything i don't care if it costs a cent if it's a cable if it's a freebie i'm talking real fast I feel like matt philly right now but it gives me a small commission and doesn't cost you guys anything helps me increase the production value and coolness of my videos all around i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys next time peace let's see if 7D actually recorded it since it's being a little